Z3 or Z3 Serum Prover is an awesome library when it comes to solving complex math problems. It supports many different programming languages, but today we're going to focus on Python. We will solve a couple problems I found on the Mind Your Decisions channel. Great channel, by the way. But before we go on to the practical examples, let's solve something easy. First, create a Python file. Import the Z3 library and create a solver variable. For our example, we've got two unknown integers, x and y. x plus y must be equal to 5. And x and y must both be greater or equal to 2. Let's implement that. Let x and y be two unknown integers. Then add the constraints we talked about earlier. The logic is basically done. Now we just need to check if a solution exists and if it does, print it out. Now let's we'll run it and see what happens. As you can see, y is 2 and x is 3. That's correct. Now let's get into a harder problem. Alice and Bob can complete a job in 2 hours. Alice and Charlie can complete the same job in 3 hours. Bob and Charlie can complete the same job in 4 hours. How long? Will the job take if Alice, Bob and Charlie work together? Let's say A is Alice's speed, B is Bob's speed, C is Charlie's speed, and N is the amount of hours they'll have to work together at the end. So let's write the equation Alice's speed times 2 hours plus Bob's speed times 2 hours equals 1 job completed. Same thing with Alice and Charlie. Alice times 3 plus Charlie times 3 equals 1 job completed. And the same with Bob and Charlie. Now let's see what it takes them all together to complete this one job. With the same logic we can say that Alice's speed times the amount of hours it will take them plus Bob's speed times uh, the time plus Charlie's speed times the time equals 1 job. Let's run it and see the results. As you can see, it correctly prints out 24 over 13 hours, which is roughly 110 minutes. Let's do another problem. Two candles of equal heights but different thicknesses are lit. The first burns off in 8 hours, the second in 10 hours. How long after lighting in hours will the first candle be half the height of the second candle? The candles are lit simultaneously and each burns at a constant linear rate. Let's start by making three variables. C1, which is the height of the first candle, C2, the height of the second candle, and T, which is the time. Let the height of the first candle be 1, its full height, minus time divided by 8 hours. And the second candle will be its full height, minus time, but now divided by 10 hours. Let's also add some constraints so the result will not be something unreal. Since the height of the second candle has to be two times the height of the first candle, we can also write that in the code. If we run it, we get the expected result of 6,6 6 hours. Huge thanks for watching to the end of the video. This video took me very long to make and please subscribe and like. See ya!